esports is basically competitive video gaming. At the college here, we've got two different major programs. We've got the academic esports program, which focuses on teaching students the skills they'd need to build a job, a career in the esports field, whether it be marketing or business strategy, event management, content creation, um, those sort of fields. And then we also have our varsity and academy program, which are for the students that are more competitively inclined, so the ones that want to compete playing video games against schools all around North America. We've got a top tier program that gives them the opportunity to do that. Esports is not one thing. It's not just the players, it's not the teams. It is a collective of multiple things. It's the fans, it's the developers, it's it's just, it's every individual who doesn't compete. It is just them. I was a student in Staffordshire University, uh, also studying esports actually, and um, I would say about two years after, I found out about the whole collegiate scene in general. I wasn't really aware of how big it really was, just because I'm from the UK. We have a university scene as well, but it's kind of small compared to what North America really is. So after I found out, I just started messaging people, started messaging scouts, just got really interested. The more, the more in depth I went in, the more interested I got, I just saw like the prize money, the, 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 the land, the experience, the traveling, everything, which is great. We have probably the most state-of-the-art collegiate center, I would say in probably North America. We have the biggest, like the most fleshed out program, so you can get the actual business credentials, you can get the marketing classes, you can work on content creation, you learn Photoshop and things of that nature, so you have tangible skills that will work at other jobs, whether you go to an accounting firm or other places like that. And then as far as esports, top-notch facilities, everything is like grade A, we have the stage to play on, the opportunity for students to run their own broadcast and to learn those things for themselves and trial by fire you can kind of you can make mistakes and it's okay in this environment you're not going to get fired or lose a job or like lose potential employment it's a very safe space to kind of build your skills and try to catapult yourself and obviously St. Clair they have the teams do well as, as well so naturally the eyes a lot of eyes on the school as well so it just it works out for everybody and you get a good chance at making something. St. Clair is really set itself up to be the premier destination for esports in Canada not only that but honestly we're probably a top five destination for esports in North America at this point, even to the extent that we've got students joining us from the United Kingdom, from Germany, from Argentina, and from multiple other countries. When I saw it, I just thought, this is my chance. I want to make a name for myself, get into the, the pro scene, and the best way to do that is show off my talents in the collegiate scene.